Avid and FCP have had a fundamental difference in the way that they relate to the media as it's edited inside the application. Avid has always captured footage or imported footage into its own native file format and specific folder structure. FCP has always simply used pointers to media that is already in QuickTime format. Avid, on the other hand, has traditionally converted whatever format the file starts in, say a QuickTime file, and turns it into an MXF file or in the old days as an OMF or AVB file. That process takes a little longer to rewrap the media, copy it into Avid's MXF folder, and update its media database, allowing easy and quick access and management of the resulting file. Although Avid still maintains the same basic fundamental way of dealing with media, so that its media management is rock solid and essentially foolproof, Avid has also embraced the tidal wave of productions moving to file-based workflows by creating a technology that it calls AMA, or Avid Media Access. AMA allows you to instantly have access to RED, P2, XDCAM, or even ProRes, and other QuickTime files. With AMA, there's no need for long import times. The media can be used directly from the P2 card or XDCAM disk, for example, in its native format. This is great for fast turnaround deadline-driven projects. However, this AMA media is inherently different from the rest of the media in the Avid. It still only exists on that P2 card or wherever the file was when it was imported through AMA. So, AMA is basically used for two purposes. You can screen your footage in AMA and choose only to transcode the good takes, then edit with that transcoded footage, or you can edit your AMA footage and only transcode at the end of the project for archival purposes. Before showing you how AMA works, I should first mention that before you can begin importing files using AMA, you have to download and install the various drivers from the manufacturers, like the P2 drivers, Sony XD Cam drivers, and any other drivers and codecs that are needed for your computer to be able to view and access their native file structure. So let's get started. 